Hello again everybody, back with another video. This time I'm looking at the code of the Columbiana Centre Mel shooting which happened on the 16th of April and it's a number of mass shootings that seem to have happened uh, recently in the US. Uh, I'll come on to that when I get to the uh, last slide in this little presentation. But before we go on and look at the uh, Columbiana Centre, let's have a look at the Brooklyn subway shooting. Now I'm not going to do much on this because it's been covered very well by a channel called Fall Shadow. So here it is, it's called NY Subway Shooting. Here's uh, Fall Shadow's uh, site and this is the video <coughs> of concern and it's the link is in the description. He's done an excellent job at decoding this event and I will just add a couple of things to it but please go along and uh, watch the video and if you want to subscribe and give Foreshadow your support. So let's move on. Oh, of course before we do it's subway shooting and S is 3 in Chaldean numerology so we do have a 33 there and the guy that did the shooting is Frank James and Frank James is 98 in English where A is 1 and Z is 26 and that is 7 plus 7 times 7 so 14 7 so there's our 777 code and uh, this was a victim who has been shot in the leg I think he's got some makeshift tourniquet on and I've blanked his face out and I've had to blank any blood out because I don't want YouTube to delete the video uh, but as you can see uh, he's holding his phone his facial expressions are don't look startled or he doesn't look in pain at all and look at the hand uh, so let's just blow that up a bit and then we have the Masonic M sign that is a difficult pose to do you try it with your fingers it's very difficult uh, but uh, that's not an arrest hand sign so that's a deliberate uh, M sign there and the guy is Frank R James so I covered that so we've got 116 for 11 sixes for 66 and we've got in Pythagorean numerology 44 for death stores for the kill number so there we have a master number and the guy allegedly fired his weapon 33 times, striking 10 people, 7 men and 3 women. So there's our three sevens for 777 again. So just a little bit more code uh, to add to the excellent video by Foreshadow. So let's move on to the subject of the video, which is the Columbiana Centre Mel shooting. This is coded up to the hilt, basically. So the date was Saturday, April the 16th, 2022. If we look at April the 16th, it's day 106, days remaining 259. And uh, if we look at April 16th, we've got on a 106 for a 7. We've got day 106, so we've got 106 for a 7. We've got 2 plus 5 plus 9, which is 16, so another 1 plus 6 for a 7, so we have a 777 date in our April the 16th event date. And April the 16th in Gematria for English, A is 1, Z is 26, is 63 for 3 6 is for 666. And in full reduction or Pythagorean numerology, it's 36 for 666 again. Now, Here's our nice kind of uh, Masonic looking sign here and Columbiana in Pythagorean numerology is 37 for 777 and it's 33 in Chaldean for our 33 for Masonry and the Columbiana Centre Mel is 77 so there's our 77 in Pythagorean numerology. Now the Columbiana Centre in English is 156 and in full reduction 
Pythagorean is 66. Now 156 is 666 because 666 in English ordinal is 156. And that also links to 911 because the 156th prime number is 911. So 911 is also a representation of 666. And of course we got the CC for 33 here. So code, code, code. Now this article, I've taken a little bit of information on the next few slides from this article. We've got 12 injured, three people detained. So we've got one plus two for, two, for 12, for three, and we've got three people. So we have a 33. And also, if we multiply 12 by 3, we get 36. 4, 3, 6 is 4, 6, 6, 6. Now, this is from the same article. Uh, it says, uh, of the 11 patients received in prisoner health hospitals in the Midlands, nine have been treated. So there we have our 911, 56th prime number, and 666 equals 156. Now we've got the oldest shooting victim is 73. So we've got three sevens for 777. And then we've got the youngest being 15. So we've got, if we add those numbers up, 7 plus 3 plus 1 plus 5, we get 16. And 1 plus 6 is a 7. If we add the 73 and 15 up, we get 88 for 16 for a 7. And then we've got Prisma Health, and Prisma Health is 42, that big number, which can be 6 times 6 plus 6, and it can be 7 times 7 minus 7. So 666 code and 777 code coming together in one number there. Now, this is another part of this same article, and it says Holbrook said three armed people were detained and three armed people in Chaldean numerology is 73 for our 777 code and some people believe that the 7 code relates to psyops and mind control I'm not saying anything here because I'm just telling you the code but I think you know my opinion on this and then we have the suspects We've got Dwayne Price, we've got Marquise Robinson, and we have Amari Smith. Now, I'll blank the faces out because I don't want the video deleted, but uh, if we look at Dwayne Price, well, Price is 33 in uh, Pythagorean numerology for our 33 for masonry, and we have Allah Robinson. He has the sun in his name, which again is a popular code. Now, Amari Smith is 111 in English. A's 1Z is 26. And 111 in binary is a 7. Also, Amari is 42 in English for our 666 and our 777 code. So, packed full of code and this is the final slide and it's, this photo you can see has been cut off to just show 39 and 17 what's the significance of that well 39 plus 17 is 56 for 7 times 7 plus 7 so 777 code so there is our final code there's probably more but i think you can see there's enough code here to tell you what this event is whether it's a shooting whether it's a drill or a psyop you can make your mind up from the code i've presented to you but as i said at the start there is a ramping up of these so-called mass shootings and don't be surprised uh, Americans that they are going to accelerate gun control and start taking guns off people because if they're going to implement the Great Reset, take people's 
basically property away, take their savings away by hyperinflation, force them into poverty, force them onto universal basic income. They don't want to fight. And if the only people with guns work for the state, then it's game over. It's game over for the for the UK, I think, because we've got nothing to fight back with. But uh, you can see where all that's coming from, and, and foreshadow covers that in his video. So that's all I've got to say for now. So thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and goodbye.